we know that having uh, both you and Commander Whitson aboard as two female commanders is a coincidence, uh, but, but it's also a first, and I'm wondering what kind of message this sends to girls and young women who wish to follow in uh, your footsteps. Well, I think Peggy and I both feel that we're just doing what we wanted most to do in life, and I think that's the most important message to all boys and girls, that you should uh, look into your own heart and follow your dreams. But we're also hopeful that someday it means we'll see a woman commander uh, leading an expedition to Mars. They're wondering, like us, how you're enjoying your first command, and I'll throw into that how confident you are about getting P-6 moved. Well, I'm certainly enjoying the mission a lot. I think uh, it's a little different when you're the commander because uh, you tend to worry about things a little bit more than you do uh, when you're... <laughs> <laughs> so um, uh, I would say that I am cautiously confident. I believe in the crew. Uh, I know that they're ready to do this task, and uh, both crews are ready to cope with whatever comes, uh, and we're very hopeful. Uh, moving that P-6 array looks pretty sporty to me. I was just wondering how she feels going into this uh, as an arm operator. Thanks. Well, it is a very challenging task, but we, of course, have had a great team training us on the ground, so we're prepared uh, for whatever may come. But uh, we've been uh, flying the arm for uh, two days now, uh, starting with uh, our docking day, and we had some experience with our EVA-1. So we uh, are prepared to fly the arm, and we think it'll do great uh, handling P-6. Pam, NASA tells us things are pretty smooth from your perspective. How's it going up there? Well, the first few days of any mission is uh, pretty uh, chaotic is probably a better word. Um, we've just added so much stuff that happens in flight day two with the inspections and so forth uh, that uh, we just felt like we were... Uh, you know, going straight from one thing to the next and hardly having time to uh, to sit and think about it. Um, but, you know, upon reflection, looking back over the last few days, it has gone very smoothly, and we're excited about that. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of work left to come. The Russians uh, gave you a whip to use up there if you need it. Uh, I want you to point out which one of the guys up there have you had the most trouble with? Have you have you had to use that whip? Uh hi. Is that you uh, the guys have been great up here. Um, but Clay and I have joked around about it a lot. So that's why we were pointing at Clay. He played wake up music for the ground the other day, and uh, it was whip it. <laughs> What have you been doing up there causing trouble? I've been as nice as a choir boy. I don't understand all this harassment that I've been getting. How's the, how, how have the women been doing up there in charge of both the shuttle and the space station? And you don't see any difference between what they do and your male colleagues, do you? Absolutely not. They've been awesome. Uh, you know, Fjordy, your chicken, said it really very well. He said, we're all professionals, and, you know, this, the male-female thing uh, doesn't enter into it. We know we have a job to do. We're well-trained to do that job, and, and these two ladies are outstanding commanders, and I would fly with them anytime, any place, anywhere. All right, back to you, Peggy Whitson. How's the view from up there? It's actually even more spectacular than I remembered. It's unfortunate that when you leave this place, that only a uh, few short weeks can you forget how beautiful it can be. Uh, the colors, the richness of the colors, the beauty of our planet are amazing. And it's really, truly really, uh, very difficult to articulate in words how beautiful. The entire community has been watching and very excited about your mission, your third trip to space. What surprised you this time? I think the biggest surprise has been uh, how much additional work uh, has grown. As the station has grown, our schedules have grown as well. And of course, we've added some more activities on flight day two uh, with inspecting the shuttle after ascent. And so what I found is uh, just that the pace has picked up. And I found that on my second flight from my first flight. So I'm not sure exactly how much more work we can squeeze in in the future. 
What is the most challenging part as commander this time around? I think for me the uh, most challenging part has been uh, wanting to be in three places at once. Uh, I want to be where all the big things are happening so that I can be there to help uh, or just to watch and, uh, you know, if anything goes wrong, to know about it right away. And, and I can't do that. And so I have to sort of pick uh, a place to be and sort of stay there for a little while until I, I think it's time to go somewhere else. And I just uh, wish that, that I could be in more than one place at once. Well, so much has been made about the historical significance of this mission. How much has that been on your mind, Pam? Actually, not very much. What's more been on my mind is the significance of delivering Node 2, Harmony, to the station. This is a, a really special moment for the station because it kicks off the international science portion of the International Space Station's life cycle. And that, to me, is extremely important. So I love the idea that uh, delivering this node is beginning a whole new era of science in space. How daunting a project has this been in terms of other things that you've all done in space? And Jenny, I uh, had the privilege to fly an SCS-121. It's the second uh, return, to mission, uh, return to flight mission, and it was very different. Uh, we uh, tested uh, test objectives uh, for the shuttle to return to flight, and uh, each mission is uh, uh, complex in a different way. And this one, uh, we have a lot of assembly tasks, we have a lot of uh, spacewalks, and uh, also uh, adding a module and ingressing. Uh, each mission is, uh, is uh, special and complex in its own way, but uh, this one is a very complex also. Which job would you rather have, commander of the shuttle or of the space station? Well, actually, that's not that hard to answer. At, the, at first I thought it was, and then I thought about it, and I remembered that I'm the one who gets to land the shuttle. And for somebody who's been a professional pilot for over 20 years, um, longer than that, uh, actually that is going to be a very thrilling moment for me. So I'm really looking forward to landing the shuttle, and so I think that's a special part of it that for a pilot I think will uh, be amazing for me.